Canadian takes a USA test. Let's go. How much do you know about USA? I feel like Canadians know more about the USA than Americans know about Canada. And you know why I say this? Because I feel like everybody in Canada is like, oh yeah, I know we're like California. Yeah, I know California. I know like New York and or like uh, Detroit's in Chicago here and like, uh, yeah, like Idaho, you got all these places. But then when I go to the US and I'm like, yeah, I'm from Manitoba, they're like, Huh? You know, no, I'm not like making fun of anybody here. I'm just saying that's that's what's happened in my experience. So here we go. This quiz is for everyone, Americans and non-Americans. Hey, that's me. <laughs> just for fun, let's see who gets the most correct. Put your score and your country in the comments down you below. You guys do that as well. Okay, here we go. Complete the first line of the national anthem. Oh say, can you see through the mists of the oh, deep boy. by dawn's oh, early boy. light, or when free men shall stand. Oh, say, can you see by the... The middle one, by the dawn's early light. I never knew those were the words, but I, like, know it, you know, if that makes sense. Oh, say, can you see by the... Da, do, do, do. Hey, That's can one. you see right there. through the mists Boom. of the... D I told you! Which of these drinks was invented first? Coca-Cola? That's a USA Pepsi, question? Or Dr. Pepper? Coca-Cola, Pepsi, or Dr. Pepper? I feel like it's Coca-Cola or Pepsi. Now, which one, though? Which one? Coca-Cola. I feel like Coca-Cola. What? Not 1885 in Texas. Okay. Very interesting. I don't feel like reading all that. This is a science class. What did the Hollywood sign originally say? Hollywood Hills, Hollywood Land, or Visit Hollywood? I'm pretty sure Hollywood Land. I don't remember the reasoning, but I'm just pretty sure it's Hollywood Land. And fun fact, I went, I saw the Hollywood sign for the first time. Yeah. Oh, I knew it! For the first time. I don't know what I'm at, too. Where is right? Harvard University? Editor, Cambridge, please keep the score up there. New Haven, Connecticut, or Princeton, New Jersey? Harvard. Oh, crap. Harvard is like Harvard, you know? It's like the popular one. But like, do I even know where it is? Harvard University. I'm gonna say New Jersey. Nah. <laughs> I'm gonna say New Jersey. No, I feel like it's Massachusetts. But I'm gonna say New Jersey. What's the highest mountain in the United States? Mount Kilimanjaro. Mount Four Just kidding. Denali or Mount Sanford? Oh boy. What about Bear Mountain? Isn't <laughs> Ah Mount? Wait, wait, wait! I don't want that about Denali. 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 Oh, I knew it! I don't know why I knew what it, but was I knew Uncle it. Uncle Sam's occupation: lawmaker, soldier, Who's Uncle Sam? meatpacker. Who's Uncle Sam? What was Uncle Sam's occupation? A soldier, maybe. Uncle Sam is believed- wait, let me see. Uncle Sam is believed to originate from a meat packer called Sam Wilson. He was known as Uncle Sam and supplied meat to the US Army during the War of 1812. The meat was supplied in barrels which were stamped US for United States. This was instead associated with Uncle Sam. Over the time, Uncle Sam became synony synonymous for the US government. So that's why it's called USA, Uncle Sam America. Interesting. <laughs> How many US presidents have been assassinated while in office? Four, five, or six? Oh boy. Oh boy. Four, five, or six. I'm gonna go with four. That's what not is a the good thing I should be building in the US in 2021. One World Trade Center, Central Park Tower, or Willis Tower? What is the tallest? Oh, well, World Trade Center. Easy. Easy. Simple. 1776 feet and the tallest building I've been in is probably the CN Tower when I was in Toronto the other week So the CN Tower was finished blah blah open to the blah 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 at this it would remain the tallest freestanding structure in the world until surpassed with So this is taller? I don't think it was but I was also just I just did a climb Let me see if I have a feeling this is way taller. It's not a building but Yanamuska Mountain feet. It was 22. Okay. Yeah, that's a little higher than this. But that, that's a mountain, that's not a building. So yeah, I was in a taller building than that, I guess. But anyways, guys, yeah, I just went on a hike. My first mountain hike. I died after like 10 minutes because it was like straight up dirt. And I was like, <laughs> my cardio is so bad. But then finally, after like a couple hours, yeah, three hours, we finally got to some rocks. And the path we were originally supposed to go on was like, okay, now go back down. But we see these rocks and it's like rock climbing. So we're like, let's go up. And look at what we were doing, guys. We were literally doing this. No experience whatsoever. L you see how high up? We were probably like four hours into it at this point. And we had to go from over over here, follow this chain on this little edge. You have to grab the chain so you don't fall off. Look at, like, look how you, you you don't have any room to stand barely. That's why you have the chains. And yeah, here it is, right here. Boom. You go up, see, like all the green stuff. I don't know why I'm going. 
We're talking about the USA. I don't know I'm talking about this hike, but anyway, <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is the one we did. It was similar anyway. But you go up, you see the green stuff. It's that was like the the dirt part. Then you get up to the rocks, and then you're you're, you're rock climbing. Like look, yeah, we went up this too. Like it was it's fun though, scary but fun and very exhausting. We each only brought one water each. Worst idea ever. We ran out before we got to the top. How many passengers were on the Mayflower? 57, 102, or 208? Is that what it looks like? I'm gonna say you can't fit 200 people. 50 is a little low, so 102. I'm good at this, guys. Where is this monument? St. Louis, Chicago, oh, or boy. Seattle? Chicago has a bean, so it's not in Chicago. Seattle or St. Louis? I'm gonna say St. Louis. Cause I feel like Seattle has a big tower. I don't know. Oh. I'm too good at this, guys. I don't know what I'm at. Where but was the first somewhere. strictly stock NASCAR race held? Nashville Super oh, Speedway, boy. Charlotte Speedway, or Indianapolis Charlotte. Motor Speedway. I was at Indianapolis Motor Speedway a couple months, weeks ago. Months. Jeez, I, I seem to be traveling a lot. I was, I said that, didn't I? I, I was going to say it anyway, so I got that one. <laughs> I seem to be traveling a lot. But the reason I went to Indianapolis was for like a Gary V conference. Gary V invited us out. So that was technically for work. I went to Toronto to attend a Nintendo event for work. So I'm traveling around and I'm, but like, it's not, not just like, do, 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 do. You know, it's like, what is do, 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 do? This is Cleopatra's Needle in London. But where is the sister Cleopatra's Needle? New York City, Washington DC, or Las Vegas? Huh? Washington. Washington. Nope. Okay. I don't really understand that one, but okay. How many people signed the Declaration of Independence? Oh boy. 56, 58, or 60? Hmm. I have a feeling there's some people in the USA who don't even know this one. Hmm. 56. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Who was the first African-American senator? Edward Brooke, Hiram Rhodes Revels, or Carol Mosley Brown? The bottom one. The bottom one. Nope. I don't know. These questions are Who was are the too first American woman in space? Anna Lee Fisher, Mae Jemison, or Sally Ride? Fisher. I'm losing it. Bow. Let me know in the comments if you got that joke. <sighs> okay, now we're now we're rapid firing in the wrong Crater direction Lake here. Is the deepest in the U.S. Which state is it in? California, Oregon, or Utah? Okay, not California. I don't think anyway. Oregon or Utah? Crater Lake. Oh, Utah! No, no, no! It's Oregon. Utah! 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 Ah! Wrigley Field is home to which major league baseball team? The Boston Red Sox, New York Mets, or Chicago Cubs? Wrigley Cubs? Field. Wrigley Field. Doesn't sound New York. Doesn't Chicago. Doesn't sound Boston either. Let's go! We yo, we yo, we yo. In 1906, an earthquake and fire destroyed three quarters of which city? San Francisco, New York, or Chicago? Uh, Chicago? Chicago or San Francisco? Shut up. I, I picked Chicago. That I got Which that one wrong. played Captain Steve Hiller in the 1996 film Independence Day. Jamie Foxx. Wait, wait, wait. Chris Tucker, Independence Day. I, Will Smith. This is like a popular movie, man. Is it Will Smith and Jamie Foxx in this movie? I feel like it's Will Smith. Wait, Will Smith. Yeah. I feel like it's Will Smith. I'm pretty sure. What would you have to win to receive the Vince Lombardi Trophy? The huh? Super Bowl, the World Series, or the NBA Finals? Okay, can't be the Super Bowl, the World Series, or the NBA Finals. I know lots of Canadians know this. I just, not just Canadians, everybody around the world who actually watches sports. I just don't watch sports, so I don't know. I'm gonna say NBA, but no, it's probably the World Series, so I'm gonna go with the World Series. What? Which city All the football fans are hating on me now. Easy. New York, New Orleans, or Los Angeles? Which city is named the Big Easy? I've never heard of that before. The Big Easy, New Orleans. Where can you find Trail Ridge Road, the highest continual paved road in the United States? Rocky Mountain National Park, Great Smoky Mountains National Park, or Yosemite National Park? Rocky Mountains? That's like an hour away from me. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Where can you find Trail Ridge Road? I was gonna say the Rocky Mountains. Oh! Disneyland opened in 1955. Disneyland. Where? Florida? Florida. California? Mm. Or Nevada? I know Florida has the big one, so I'm gonna go with Florida. I was gonna say, it's not even California, but yeah, it is. It's just not Los Angeles, because it's in Anaheim. Because I was also in Anaheim. I was literally right across the street from it for VidCon. Okay, but I'm gonna say Florida. Come on! What are these free-roaming feral horses called? Appaloosas, Mustangs, or Shetland Ponies? Mm-hmm. 
Does that look like the Mustang logo? <laughs> a little. So I'm gonna go with the Mustang. <laughs> yeah, I knew it. I knew it, guys. What make and model is this American classic? A Ford Mustang, Chevrolet Corvette, or Dodge Charger? Why would you put that right after? Look it. It's so obvious. Like, even if you don't know cars, the Mustang logo, the guy's right there, the horse. Mustang. What is this vertical rock formation in the Yosemite that, National Park? Called? That's literally what the tip of the, the the hike we went on looked like. Because from the bottom, we're like, there's no way that's the top. It's probably like over there somewhere. But no, we actually went up this. Not this little one, but okay. Well, we, El Monte, El Dorado, or El Capitan? El Dorado. That one sounds some, somewhat familiar. Ah, uh, okay, whatever. <laughs> Which president is the only one who was born in Hawaii? Ronald Reagan, Richard Nixon, or Barack Obama? Ronald. Ronald. Really? What is the oldest casino in Las Vegas? The Golden Gate Hotel and Casino, Flamingo Hotel and Casino, or the Sahara Hotel? Golden Gate. Oh, let's go, we're back on track. Here we go. What was the name of the NASA project that immediately preceded the Apollo program? Mercury, Prometheus, or Gemini? Mercury! Mercury. <sighs> Back on the losing streak. Near Tucson, Arizona, you can find the world's largest collection of what? Optical telescopes, barbecue pit restaurants, or ballpoint pens? What's a ballpoint pen? Are they big barbecuers in uh, Arizona? I feel like it's telescopes, because look at those are the mountains, they're like... A bit far away, but you can still see him with a telescope. The Detroit Coney, Cleveland Polish Boy, and Maine Red Snapper are all types of what? Lobsters, hot dogs, or burgers? Okay, wait. Oh, I was about to say, well, there's a lobster right here, so obviously a lobster. Bring out the lobsters! Let me know in the comments again if you guys know that joke. Bring out the hot dogs, bring out the burgers, bring them all out, bring them all out. But then there's, yeah, hot dog there, burger here. Um, the Detroit Coney, Cleveland Polish Boy, and... Well, there's a red snapper, so obviously it's a lobster. Yeah, red, it's a lobster. Who calls a red snapper, a, I mean, a hot dog a red snapper? Which animal features on the Great Seal of the United States? Grizzly bear, bison, or bald eagle? The who? I'm gonna say a bald eagle, though. That seems like an American thing, like... An eagle. Ah. I don't know. <laughs> Which river flows through the Grand Canyon? The Colorado River, Rio Grande, or Snake River? Okay, wait, wait. Colorado. No, Snake. No. Colorado. <laughs> Which <laughs> national park is situated over a supervolcano? Yosemite, Canyonlands, or Yellowstone? Canyonlands or Yellowstone? Yellowstone's is calling my name because it's a TV show. The largest living tree located in the Sequoia National Park, California, is named what? Clint Eastwood, General Sherman, or George Washington? General Sherman. Yeah, Which state just... produces most of the world's crawfish? Louisiana, Texas, or South Carolina? I don't think Texas. Louisiana! Yeah! I'm gonna roll. Which one of these presidents is not depicted on Mount Rushmore? Abraham Lincoln, Thomas Jefferson or John Adams? John Adams. I went here when I was a kid. Because Manitoba, Manitoba is where I used to live, guys. Manitoba's like. Boop, Niagara from here. Falls is comprised of how many waterfalls? One, two, or oh, three? Oh, gosh. Isn't it, is it not just one? It's close to Toronto. I should have went there. But no, I didn't have enough time. I was only there for two or three days. And two, two of the days I was at the event. One. It's one. What? I thought it was just one. Forget it. Which historical figure invented swimming fins and bifocals? Abraham Lincoln, Benjamin Franklin, or Walt Disney? What? Who invented swimming fins and bifocals? I don't think Walt Disney. That doesn't... Walt Disney created Disney. Benjamin Franklin. I'm going to say Abraham Lincoln. No. Okay. I'm sorry, Where guys. did Key Lime Pie originate? Keystone, Key Biscayne, or Key West? Where did Key Lime? Keystone. What the heck is... Is it Keystone like a restaurant? I don't know. Uh, this is the last question though, guys. End it off on I a hope you note. enjoyed that. Well, I don't know my score. You guys know my score. I'm gonna drop a like. You guys as well, hopefully, will drop a like on this video. Subscribe if you're not already. And make sure to comment if you got the two inside jokes and also what the score was. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.